Welcome again student, I am Dr. Vasan Boraste from Department of Commerce, KTHM College, Nasik. Today I am going to uh, discuss with you the last example of Accounting Standard 10. After that we will start our next Accounting Standard that is Accounting Standard 14. So let us start Accounting Standard 10, last example that is uh, Accounting Standard 10, Property, Plant and Equipment, Practical Example number 6. So the example is very easy. Ashok Limited purchased a plant and machinery on 1st of April 2011 for Rs 10 lakh for which inc incidental expenses of Rs 50,000 were also incurred for this purpose. Residual value after its useful life of 5 years was estimated Rs 50,000. What is the amount of depreciation that Ashok Limited should charge on 31st March 2010 uh, 12 under state line method? So it is very easy, easy example and you know that the cost of asset we have already seen in the accounting standard 10 that how you can calculate the cost of asset and how we <coughs> how you can charge the depreciation as per accounting standard 10 that is property plant and equipment so first of all you have to add all the incidental expenses all the octra or any other incidental charges or transport charges uh, which has to be added in the cost of asset then you have to minus the residual value or scrap value of the asset uh, which should be divided by the number of or uh, estimated number of life of years that particular asset. So here you can see the solution. So here is the solution of accounting standard 10 that is uh, AS10 uh, PPE. Accounting treatment for depreciation as per AS10 should be depreciation should be charged to profit and loss account. And the formula is a very easy that depreciation equal to cost of machinery minus scrap value divided by useful life of asset so the useful life of asset it uh, it has to be estimated here we have estimated uh, the useful life of asset that is 5 years so in this example <coughs> uh, you can charge the uh, depreciation as per the me method given in uh, the example so first of all you have to calculate the cost of machinery that is purchase price plus incidental, uh, incidental charges so here the incidental charges are 10 lakh then sorry uh, the cost of machinery is rupees 10 lakh and incidental charges are rupees 50,000 so the cost of machinery will be 10 lakh 50,000 it's so easy now you have to uh, put the example or put the amount in the formula that is cost of machinery minus scrap value divided by useful life of asset so here the appreciation equal to 10 lakh 50,000 that is cost of asset minus uh, scrap value uh, which is given in the example that is 50,000 here uh, you can see the cost of residual value after 5 years will be 50,000 so 50,000 has to be deducted from the asset uh, then divide by useful life that is uh, the life of asset is estimated uh, that is 5 years so divide by 5 that means 1050 minus 50 divided by 5 so 10 lakh minus 5 uh, the answer will be 2 lakh that is depreciation it simply means that as per the accounting standard 10, uh, you have to ch uh, you can charge rupees two lakh as a depreciation uh, for the uh, plant and machinery. And as per accounting standard 10, depreciation will be charged to plant and machinery as per straight line method uh, will be rupees two lakh, and it has to be recorded in the statement of profit and loss account uh, for each and every year because you are going to use the straight line method for this. We have to use rupees 2 lakh as a depreciation for each and every year in the statement of profit and loss account. So with this uh, I am going to conclude the topic that is accounting standard 10. Uh, in the next video we, uh, we will discuss about accounting standard 14. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let us see in the next video. Thank you.